Hello there, Master Hellish here, and welcome back to my Open TTD Let's Play UK Challenge. Now, I, I believe this is episode 40, so hello, welcome, I hope you're enjoying the series. Uh, if you're new here, uh, consider subscribing to follow along for more Open TTD content, as well as other games in a similar sort of category. Um, and today, we're going to be cracking on with some new stuff. Um... Well, I say new stuff. We're going to be building some new things on an old line. Um, I think I mentioned this last episode, but it's been a while since I recorded last because I had a major computer failure, and it was it was major, it, and it was a failure. It was terrible, um, but it's fine now. Everything is fine now. I think. I hope. Right. So what we're going to do is halfway between Exeter. Oh, and also, by the way, everybody, I've changed the fonts. So um, I hopefully the fonts are easier to read than they were. Give me feedback. Um, if you're not sure, have a quick look at my last video compared to this one, and I've updated the fonts. And if you want to know how to do that, I've got a video uh, in my playlist, I believe. Check it out or get in contact on Discord. Let's crack on. So we've got to have a station halfway between these two places. And roughly halfway is here. Where these depots are. Now the problem is the depots are there. So that's no good. So we're going to have to put the station away from the depots. And we've also got these this forest to worry about. Now the thing is here. All of the trains on this line will be visiting this station. All of them. So there's no need, I feel, to do any sort of swapping or changing around. We should just have a flow in and a flow out. But... I feel like the train station should be bigger than just these lines. <sighs> this is going to be difficult. And I want to do it without trying to annoy the nearby towns too much. We're going to end up annoying them a little bit, aren't we? Right, we're going to delete that one piece of road. That allows me to pull the land back there. We'll start at this end, and we'll just cut off trains from coming in here so that we can work and we'll do a similar thing down there there we go now I'm going to unpause the game and actually fast forward just for a second just so that those trains get out of the way and we've got our area to work with now I think what we'll do is we'll try and double the train station width so from kind of here we want to be able to come out quite a lot and that that seems to fit so that's okay. So we want four on the... Actually, that's too much. We want four on this side and four on that side. So if we're going out four, we don't need that bit. Now, do we need... We need signals. We don't need signals before the platform. We need signals after the platform. Let's just go ahead and remove all the signals in the, uh, in the vicinity. Because then we can put in some proper ones afterwards. Now, station number of tracks we're going to do this in two halves we're going to say number of tracks four platform length six this orientation and we're going to put shall i stagger it so we have the signals afterwards that would be interesting yes let's do that so we're going to have one half of it here and the other half of it there mm -hmm. Not done it like that before. Wonder how this is going to work out. So then you can see we've got four tracks going out there and four tracks coming in here. Now, have I done this right? The idea here is we jiggle this one across and put it into these two. And we allow that one to split into two there. So we'll have this sort of situation going on. I'm happy with that. Uh, and then here, this one combines and then that one combines so we go split into two split back into two yeah two to four four to two simple probably uh this side is something similar so we want that like that it's just the reverse remembering that we need our signals on the end of the platforms on this side and uh, signals on the platform so that means we do that well there's nothing too complicated about that i think we're okay let's put our 
signals on the end. Fantastic. And then signals on the in blocks. So there and there, here and here. And then we'll just reset these signals here. So let's put the track back. It doesn't matter. Now the game's pause because in this series we can build whilst pause. That's not default. Uh, we've turned that on um, as part of this challenge. It's, it's something that we've been allowed to do. There we go. So what we're going to do now is use this seven spacing. I use seven spacing because our trains are six, which means then every seventh is a, is a signal. So I'm just going to pull those signals down here like that. It means we've got a little bit of waiting space. Uh, I've repaired the track here. So let's just remove these signals there. Yep, that's okay. And then just relay them just to make sure they're all the right length along here. This bit's a bit weird for the exit. I'm not quite sure what to do. What I think I'll do is we'll, we'll put a temporary signal there. We'll work out seven along from that, and then we'll just use that as a gauge. And then it goes back to the old signals again. Yeah, we'll do that. So, signal there. Remove these. And there's a split here. So, ideally, we want to come out a little bit from there and come from that way. There we go. So... It's a bit weird to have these two signals near each other, but that that's okay. That's fine. I'm not, I'm not going to lose sleep over that. And I think that's it. Uh, we're not going to do any depots at the station because the trains are serviced by depots uh, over here and over here. So we do have nearby depots that the trains can visit. Are these forced depots? No, they're optional depots. Okay. And then the only thing we need to do now is add this into the orders. So from Exeter, before we go to London, we want to go to Corsum. Is that the name of that place? Corsum. Corsum, I think it is. And then before we go back to Exeter, uh, here we go, after London, we go again. And that's it. We're, we're done. Now the thing is, is that this is got a terrible catchment. Some of you may be wondering, Hellish, what are you playing at? What are you playing at? And the answer is, I explained this last time. At least I think I did. We're going to build a bus interchange so that we can bring loads of people in from all over the place. So over here, we're going to build... Now, what's our maximum station spread in this series? Let's go into the, the game settings and we'll just go... Super SPR for station spread. Okay, and you can see here it's set to 15 tiles. So, so far our station is 8. 15 is not an even number, so we'll call it 14. 14 minus 8 gives us 6. 6 each side means we can have 3. So we can have a drop off of 3, like this. Um, and actually, we can have it slightly offset if we want to. But I don't want to. We're gonna have it we're gonna have it pretty pretty even. So here we go. So mm, one, two, three, and then over here, one, two, three. Now we could put an extra one on one of the sides if we want to, but I'm not going to. And then I'm just gonna do this. This seems to be kind of the default way that I do things with these stops at the moment. And there might be a better way, but this seems to work quite well for me. Um, the, the trucks and, and buses do seem to space themselves out quite nicely. So we'll use that spot to put a little um, depot in. We may need to move the depot if it gets too busy. Now let's just go transparent for a second. We've already connected up to this city, uh, town, sorry, not city. So that's good. And then... I think because of cargo distribution, we should generally be okay, but let's just connect up a load of the nearby towns. So, I'm just going to do this. Especially the larger ones. So, the, this one over here, <laughs> Balkington. We're not going to bother with Balkington. The only reason we're bothering with uh, Corsham is because, well, we're there anyway. And we probably won't actually have a um, 
a bus station in the town because well our catchment uh, sorry our coverage covers some of the town anyway especially the football stadium which is which is important bath bath yes we need to go to bath uh, although here no 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 oh the local authority don't allow it what did the local authority think i am they think i'm appalling wow there must be all the land changes that I did around here. Let's throw in a load of trees. The trees, trees, trees. And I'm wearing the trees, trees, trees t-shirt. Uh, and if you're interested in that, hellishdoor.net. Ah, there we go. Trees everywhere. And now we're good. Fantastic. So the idea here for me was to get rid of these two bits of road and then just put a tunnel in. Like this. Boop. Um, just because the town's in the way. And then here, yeah, we'll just do a little dig. There we go. Um, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do about this uh, industry that's in the way, this uh, factory. I suppose I'll just go round it, won't I? There's no reason. Now, you see, now, I'm not going to directly connect up to these back bits here, because I've done that before, and I don't think it worked out very well for me. So we've got depots here at Corsham. Should we? We should probably put depots when we get further out. So one down here. I want the town to grow in that direction. So we'll just put it there. Um, so that's that's Bath. So that's one, two places. Three. We should have another place on this side. Yate. Is that? I mean, is Bristol too far? Bristol's too far. This town's not too far. We'll do this town. Oh, hang on. What's that? That's the that's the bomb tool. We don't want that. We want roads. Oh, yep. There we go. My configuration for roads still exists. No. Oh my goodness. We ended up in the console. That's that's because I tried to press the escape key and missed. There we go. We'll just connect that up. Okay, so we've got two on this side. Um, again, I don't think we're going to bother with this town because uh, the coverage doesn't quite... I think all these trains are pretty much full when they're coming through anyway, so we're going to need even more trains, which is not a problem. We've got seven million in the bank. So what we'll do is we'll build this this interchange. That's That's what we need to do. Rename this to interchange. Uh, rename buttons up there now. Interchange. I think I got that right. Not 100% sure. Um, but yeah, we'll do that town. So that's three on this side, two on this side. There's not Swindon. Should we go out as far as Swindon? You know what? Let's go out as far as Swindon and Bristol. Why not? We might make some money. You never know. So we'll just connect up this road actually that's quite a long way for road vehicles to go isn't it but we'll do it anyway we'll do it anyway so we're going to connect up this way and then like that okay so we've got swindon there i i guess we should come this way for the Bristol. Can we get straight in between these industries? Oh, only just. It's a good thing about roads is that generally it just goes straight over everything. May as well connect up these little bits here. You never know, the towns might grow into it. So that's Bristol connected up. So we've got Bristol, Swindon and a few places between. Pose really Yates yeah, should be connected to um, Oh, what's this? Why are we not connected there? That is a really weird bit of land. Let's We've got a bumpity humpity and all over the place. Uh There we go that should make it a lot better oh yeah brilliant okay so that's quite a few on that side and again i think we ought to go out this this far is fine but which way are we going is there a road coming out there no but we can make one 
just oh I didn't mean to do that switch tools halfway through dragging not what I'd planned um not really many large towns round here I mean this might be a bad idea I'm not saying this is a good idea never would I say this is a good idea but it might it might work it might work um I'm not sure I want to go any further south kind of I don't think I want to go far as Stapleford that'll do that will do for now we just need to make sure that we've got uh, depots in for some of the further places so like Bath and Yay and uh, whatever that place that we're probably not going to connect that place up because it's tiny Swindon we'll do one at Swindon We'll have one in the middle of that road. Okay, we've got one there already. We've got one there. We just need one over here then. Okay, brilliant. I have no idea if this is going to work or not, but we'll see. We're going to need a lot more trains on this network because it's just going to build up. And I think... I think we just want the buses going backwards and forwards with standard orders. So let's do that. Let's do that. Let's go get some new buses. New vehicles. The bus. Buy vehicle. There we go. And um, yeah, that'll do. Now what we'll do is we'll get two we'll get two going between each of the towns. I haven't put a station in Bath yet. How ridiculous is this? Okay, we should get some good coverage in here. So that's not too bad. That's better. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so there we go. Go to Bristol. And then um, we'll duplicate you. And then we'll have a new one. New bus, please. And the next place we're going to is Yates. Again, we need to just add the actual station. Find some good coverage. I think that's good. That is good. There we go. And we'll do a go to order to there clone that one. Oh, I accidentally closed the new vehicles thingy. There we go. If we pin that, I'll, that'll be much better. Okay, so that Yate. Now, I think the next one, let's go all the way down here to Swindon and get our station in. Oh, that'd be an amazing station. Oh, the coverage on that is really good. That's a good station. Good bus station, that. We'll buy a vehicle. We'll tell it to go between the interchange and Swindon. And we'll clone it. And when I'm cloning it, I'm holding control so that we get shared orders. And then... Yeah, we've got two more to do on this side. Let's see here. Yep, that's oh, that would be good coverage. Uh, okay, let's let's put it here then. Local authority refused to allow it. Well, you know what they need? They need some more trees, 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 trees. There we go. They they should they should allow it now. I would allow it if I planted that many trees somewhere, or if somebody did. It's like hello, would would you, would you like trees everywhere? And said, so what's what's in return for? You know, 10,000 trees. Oh, one little bus station. One little bus station? Yes, that's all. Well, fine, go for it then, I'd say. There we go. So we've got two of them. Two, 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 uh, two, two. Yep, okay. And I think the last one's over here. So we didn't put any of the actual satellite. Oh, that's, a, again, not too bad coverage. 
Hmm. I feel like in the future that would be better coverage, especially if we encourage them to grow their road network along that way as well. Fantastic. New vehicle. Go to here, go to there, and duplicate. So we've got two. There we go. And I think that's all of them on this side. So uh, let's undo the invisibility options. Unpause, uh, un unstop them, as I sometimes say. And we'll quickly do the other side. Yeah, I, I think this might make us some good money, but I, it'd be interesting to see. What we should be able to do is click on the interchange, click on the road vehicles, and just see uh, all the money that the road vehicles are making. Now, the trains are going to make money anyway, but... Okay, so this is our... Oh, again, we need to add the actual... The actual station in. Now, because of this hill, I think that's bad placement for this station. Um... That's bad placement because it's mostly road. It's going to have to be there. I tell you what, after we put the station in, which they, again, refuse to allow. I th did we put trees in at Bath? I can't remember. Well, we have now. Right. Will they let us? Will they let us? Wow, they really don't like us, do they? They still think we're appalling. Okay, let's bribe them. Actually, we haven't got a lot of money. Is there how many trees are there? There's a lot of trees. Hmm. All right. Maybe maybe one little bribe won't hurt. They still think we're appalling two little bribes they still think we're appalling I haven't got the money to keep bribing these people we're gonna to have to move on to the next city my goodness it's ridiculous okay let's let's put one there I think that's a good place there for that one I tell you what, while we've got this tool out we'll also have one here yeah, that's a that's a good one. And then they refuse to allow it. That's okay. I'm pretty sure these guys will be tempted by a few, a few trees. Yeah, they think we're good now. Fantastic. Here we go. Is that all of them on this one? Oh, I suppose we could put some here, couldn't we? Uh, that's actually quite good. That's actually quite good. Okay, I can't remember which ones I've done. Oh, that's right, none of them. Okay, here we go. New vehicle. Any orders yet? No. Go to here. No, wait. Start over here like everything else. We're starting at the interchange, and we're heading out there. That's probably not the best way of doing it, but it is the way that I am doing it. So, that's how things are. I don't always do things the best way. Sometimes I do something because I like to do it that way. It's just like a a random personal preference. Sometimes I do things a certain way because I think it might look nice. Sometimes I do things a certain way because I think it might be interesting to experiment. Um, sometimes I do things just for, for fun because it's a bit weird. It's a bit quirky. Um... Here I'm just making them all come from the same station because I thought it might be nice for all of them to just come from the interchange. Okay, so that's all of them unless I can figure out why Bath hate me so much. What? I put a tunnel in for you guys. A tunnel. Hmm. I'm not going to bribe them because we need to. We need more trains and we need more road vehicles. So, so there we go. The interchange is built, the road network is built, and we have all of our vehicles going to our nearby towns. 
So hopefully this is going to be a good way to do the cargo distribution because anyone that wants to go from any of these towns to any of these towns from either Exeter or London will just come in at the interchange and drop off. It, it should be fine. I think. Probably. Okay, let's unpause the game and we'll get going. So there we go, folks. Uh, those vehicles are heading out. They're all going to drop off and pick up. Our first trains are coming in. It's a little bit noisy, but it's all right. And those road vehicles are going to start registering those new cargo paths. So let's have a look. Can we turn the distribution map on? Cargo Flow Legend, is that it? There we go. So there's the Cargo Flow Legend from the interchange. You can see the way it all spreads out there. You've got one going over to Exeter over here and one coming just behind my head to London there. So that's the kind of spread out for the interchange. You can see that Swindon is by far the furthest there. Um, probably only just rivaled by Bristol. There's not really another place kind of in this area that I want to visit. Which is a shame because we'd... I mean, we could really push the boat out and go out to Salisbury, but I think that is way too far for a bus journey. I mean, to be honest, I thought Swindon and Bristol was a bit too far for a bus journey, but I thought, you know what, let's do it anyway. Um, so we're now getting income here for some reason. Uh, why are we getting income? Have we already got people that want to, like, stop and transfer? Why are the train orders not shared with those nude orders that I put in? Uh, okay, after Exeter Holt, come here. After London South, come here. I could have sworn I did that. Let's check a few random trains. Yep, looks like things are going well there. Got a few trains breaking down, but apart from that we're doing good. Uh, here we go, we've got a new incoming train. Yeah, all the orders seem fine now. I don't know what happened. I could have sworn that I did that, but there we go. Join me next time to find out how well this is doing and how many more trains I've had to add to this line to feed the interchange. But that's going to be all from me for now. Thank you very much for watching. We'll soon be doing our 1980 save, so uh, if you haven't sent that in already, it's probably too late now because I would have collected them together, ready to show you in two or three episodes' time. But that's all for now. Uh, head out to my website, masterhellish.net, for everything about me and links to the Discord as well, where you can get help and share your OpenTT games and just generally chat about stuff if you like, and I'm there too. Thanks for watching, take care, goodbye.